on April 19, 1995, at 9.02 a.m., explosions tore through the Alfred P. Murrow Building in downtown Oklahoma City, ripping through the consciousness of America. 169 people were left dead and hundreds more injured. The Oklahoma City bombing was the largest act of terrorism on American soil until 9-11. America had a new demon. We're now being told that this demon is emerging from its slumber. Since that day of horror, groundbreaking new information has come to light. So provocative, so explosive, that it threatens to shatter everything we thought we knew about the true nature of terrorism. We'll pursue every lead and use every possible resource to bring the people responsible to justice. I was sitting at my desk there on the eighth floor. I felt the building start shaking, lights went out, debris started falling on my desk. Something hit me in the back of the head and knocked me out before the truck bomb went off. What that tells you is that there were other explosive devices in the building that actually brought the building down. It's an earthquake. Everybody get down on underneath on the floor. And I had sat there and I thought, no, it doesn't feel like an earthquake. Seven or eight seconds later, uh, I felt this explosion. Only an imbecile would look at that damage pattern and not understand that it couldn't have been made by a truck bomb. Because a truck bomb is going to release its energy simultaneously in every direction. The record clearly shows that Dr. Jolly and West consulted Timothy McVeigh's defense team. Dr. West had previously been a psychiatrist and consulted for Patty Hearst, Saran Saran, and Jack Ruby. We know that Jolly and West was considered to be the number two mind control expert in North America under only Dr. Ewing Cameron. We know that he was McVeigh's doctor uh, from the time around the trial to the time he was incarcerated in Terre Haute, Indiana, and then executed. Even though the spin was, it was the right wing, it was the militias, McVeigh was involved in all this stuff, he did it because of Waco, and you know, all this stuff that the media was pumping out, none of it panned out. The militia in those days would have guarded the Murrah building. Now, they wouldn't have guarded the UN. I wrote a letter to uh, the district attorney, Macy, told him, what I had seen and that I wanted to testify in the grand jury. I got a letter back from him telling me that the grand jury did not want to hear anything I had to say about the bombing. It is every patriotic American's duty, every man, woman, and child's uh, responsibility to research the facts contained in this film, to verify for yourself that this information is true, that the rabbit hole goes even deeper, and then take action to bring the criminals that perpetrated this attack to justice. If we don't, they're going to win and bring down our republic in the process.